Portraits created with a single light can have a classic feel about them. This is because you'll often get strong contrast and plenty of shadow, especially when the light is positioned far off the camera subject axis. But sometimes a shot can benefit from filling in the shadows and lowering the contrast a little. Here's how I use this concept in some of my images. The main elements we're concerned with here are a main light source, a reflector, and our subject. Here's a top view of my lighting setup. Here's the subject, and my light is positioned about 45 degrees to one side of the subject. A reflector is brought in on the shadow side of the subject. My light in this case is a standard flash unit shooting through a white translucent umbrella. A constant light or a studio strobe would have worked just as well. A reflector can be anything that will help you bounce light onto your subject. I'm using a circular one here, but a foam core panel or any relatively flat, light-colored object can work. I like to build up my lighting to make sure I have each element the way I want it before adding another. So we'll start off with the one light. The shot looks pretty good, but you'll notice the contrast is high. In other words, there's a quick transition from light to shadow on the subject. And I can lower the contrast by bringing in some additional light to soften the shadows. The reflector bounces light from the main light onto the subject, and this helps fill in the shadows, so we sometimes call it fill or fill light. The idea is to position the reflector to get just the right amount of angle or fill that we're looking for. If I'm using constant light, it's easy to see the effect of the reflector in real time, but if I'm using flash, I'll have to take some test shots as I adjust the position of the reflector to make sure that everything looks the way I want it to. Notice the difference in contrast and overall feel of the portrait without the reflector and with the reflector. If you don't have a reflector handy, you can always use a light colored wall as your reflector. Since you're not going to be able to reposition the wall like you can with a portable reflector, you'll have to position yourself and the subject and the main light as needed for the effect that you want. As you shoot your portrait, keep in mind that the effect of the main light and reflector on your subject is going to change according to the angle of your subject's head in relation to the lighting. Check your shots, try different angles, and zero in on what's working best.